Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about IG parenting accounts and my thoughts on them. Not all IG parenting accounts, just some. And I really wanted to make this video because I know that there are probably some women out there who feel exactly like I do. And it feels really good to know that you're not alone. I'm just going to jump right into it. I know how you girls like to tussle, so I hope you guys don't chew me up too much for this, but hey, I want to keep it real, I want to keep it authentic. Like I said, I'm doing this to help others and to get it off my chest, because I be scrolling through Instagram sometimes and I'm like, okay, seriously? Does that need to be said? But anyway, let's get right into it. Here's a few statements that I really wanted to read before I get into it. You aren't a bad mom if you don't have a different sensory play activity ready for your child every other day. You aren't a bad mom if your child doesn't eat the wildest variety of foods. You aren't a bad mom if you take frequent breaks for your mental health. You aren't a bad mom if you choose to formula feed or breastfeed. You aren't a bad mom if you do some things that gentle parenting would deem you as evil for. You aren't a bad mom if you choose privacy over sharing everything you do with your child. And you aren't a bad mom if you share everything you do with your child. You aren't a bad mom if you sleep train or if you don't sleep train. As long as you love your child and you do what's best for them and for yourself, period. You aren't a bad mom. And I think that needs to be said a lot more often on social media. I think there is so much helpful content on Instagram when it comes to parenting. Even some of these accounts, they're helpful as well and they don't intend to be mean. Where I take issue is where the content starts to feel like it's assigning a label to me. So for example, if you do X, then you're negligent. If you do X, then you're abusive. If you do X, then you're whatever the case. I take serious issue with that. I think that this device is extremely powerful, extremely powerful. And I don't even like when people that I'm close with assign labels to me. One post can make you believe that you're a terrible mother. You're not a terrible mom. You're trying to figure it out like we all are. No mom has it all together. No mom has all of the answers. When you're assigning labels to people, they internalize that and they walk away feeling like, Oh my goodness, am I a good mom? I need to do more, I need to do this. Generally, most parents are out here trying their best. Most moms already deal with so much mom guilt. Most moms already feel like they could be doing more and being more. And I just wanna say to that mom, you're doing great, sweetie, okay? You're doing great. And I urge you to unfollow any account that might make you feel like you're less than. I personally, I'm taking it upon myself to make sure that I am just unfollowing any account that makes me feel like I'm a certain person because I don't do something or I'm a certain person because I don't do enough of it. Labeling is just really extreme and very unhelpful. There's nothing wrong with an account that's giving you suggestions and is telling you like, hey, maybe you could try this with your child, maybe you could try this, maybe you can try that. And it, there's nothing wrong with that because educational content is good it, it's so helpful for us even as mothers we really need to guard our hearts and our minds on what we allow ourselves to even come across and what we allow our eyes to see we should never give anybody that much power to assign a label to us or tell us that we're a certain thing because we don't do something or don't do enough of something it's really harmful and we have to make sure that we're the gatekeepers of our, our hearts, we're the gatekeepers of our minds. Like I said, I don't even let friends and family label me. If I do a certain action that's harmful, they believe the best about me. And they believe that, you know what, she may have did this thing because she wasn't looking at it this way. So to have somebody on social media who doesn't know us assign something to us because they have this authority of, Oh, they're this IG parenting account and they have how many followers or whatever the case is it's like don't let people do that most parents can agree on what's toxic and abusive and not helpful most parents can agree on that so if there's something that you're really questioning like is this wrong should I not be doing this with my child then go to your close friends go to wise counsel 
go to your local church, ask questions there. This is helpful because it's like, okay, there's some educational content and it can help you, but it's not helpful when it comes to like real life community, real life people who actually know you and know your heart and understand why you do certain things or whatever the case is. We should only let people that have a closeness to us speak into our lives to a certain capacity. I just don't know how I feel about us letting IG parenting accounts dictate who we are and planting seeds in our minds that can be really harmful to us as moms especially. I'm gonna keep this video short and sweet. I really hope that this helps somebody. I'm actually glad that I got this off my chest. I hope you guys aren't ready to chew me up, but if so, whatever. I'm just glad I said what I said. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you feel the same way, let me know in the comments. Comment below. Talk with me. I'm excited to hear your guys' thoughts. Bye, guys. Have a good day.